unpretentious show. So yeah. today, DNA results. It's not like Mari. Um, no, it is like Mari. Kind of, but also not. We know who our parents are. We just want to see where we are. Like, I guess. You know who your parents are. My name is Kenneth Feldmeyer. I go by Duke. I am a professor here at College of the Canyons. My forte is anthropology. Um, particularly cultural and applied anthropology. We're told a story when we're growing up, and it doesn't always match with the science from where we're actually from. So we're fed information over and over and over again, and then that information is not always correct. So what's so great about DNA and genetics is that we can truly get the, the, the history of who we are from a scientific perspective. So the things that I think I'm from, um, I want to say, Somewhere in Africa, China, and I want to say Native American. Those are the only things that, like, back and forth that they've told me mm -hmm. that I that's ingrained in my brain. That like, I'm that's what I am. That's what I am. My identity is something kind of important to me. I I know I'm like somewhat European. Um, possibly like Italian, like Spanish. Um, I'm just gonna say Native American because I've heard that from both sides of my family. It's kind of weird because I don't look like anything and it would, I don't know. I think it'll be cool to like learn, I guess, what I am and why I look the way I do. I think it's important to have an idea that we're all interconnected in some way and that's what this 23andMe really has done. It's, it's, it's showing me that not only where, where my past is, but how we're all just a mixture of everybody else. You know, it's, we're a blending of people. When I first got my results, uh, uh, my dad always said he was half German, half Mexican. And then uh, I have got a German last name, and then when I got my results, I, I realized that I'm, I'm, I have no German in me. It was kind of earth shattering in a lot of ways because I had identified as a German individual. I look very German. Um, but if you look at the rest of my family, everybody's dark. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Josh, there you, go. you are 78.7% Sub-Saharan African. So the majority of... <laughs> That's a high number. <laughs> the majority, the majority of, of your ethnic makeup is Sub-Saharan African. You are 19% European. Holy oh, crap! Oh. <laughs> That's high as hell. 1.4% East Asian and Native American. Okay. So, East Asian and Native American, um, the story with that is obviously Native Americans came from Asia. They came from, you know, that, that central uh, steppe region and, mm -hmm. you know, through Siberia they came all the way around like 15,000 years. So, 72.2% West Africa. Oh, wow. Dang. So what's interesting about that is that that's where humanity really began. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you are, First. Uh, you are 3.5% Central and South African. Okay. And then there's a 3% which is broadly Sub-Saharan African. That's where they haven't really figured it all out. So West Africa, the majority of your DNA is coming from West Africa. Let me see if... Yeah. What's up, Jazz? It looks like you got some artificial flavors in there. <laughs> but not, not that much, though. Not, not much. much. Not right. much. Not much. Okay, so British and Irish, 5.6%. <laughs> Holy crap! Josh, you're so white! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, Southern European. You're 0.7% Iberian, and then 0.6% broadly Southern European. So very little Southern European. Um, Ashkenazi Jew. Maybe you're related Jew. to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm Jewish. You are part Ashkenazi <laughs> Jew, yes. Native American. You have 0.8% Native American. Okay. Um, Southeast Asian, 0.6% Southeast Asian. It, okay. Yeah. So that that's something that changed. Um, from what you thought, what, what your family had told you. Ready for these results? Alright, I guess. I feel like I'm on Mari. <laughs> 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 oh. 
All right, Jess, you are 72.8% European. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So you are 51.1% Southern European. So that means Iberian, Italian, Sardinian, and broadly Southern European. I, um, I knew I was like Italian and Spanish, but right. I didn't realize how much I was. Right. So the majority of it is 17.8%, um, but there's this broadly Southern European, so it might even be higher. What which is, is the Spanish? 17? That, that's the Iberian, okay. the Iberian Peninsula. Now, this could be anywhere from Spain, Portugal, all of that area. So that southern part of, of Europe. And then Italian as well. You're 10.6% Italian. Whoa, someone so. was lying. <laughs> someone was really lying. And then Northwestern European, you're 13.9%. So you're 7% British and Irish. And then 6.9% broadly. And then you have a little less Ashkenazi Jew. As Jew. Oh, snap, Jewish! Wait, am I less Jewish than Josh? A little bit less, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm less Jewish than Josh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So you are actually 16.2% Native American. So you're a lot of Native American. Um, East Asian, you're less than 6%, so you have a little bit of Chinese, you have a little tiny bit of broadly East Asian, and you could. Um, less than 1% of Southeast Asian, and then broadly East Asian and Native American. So you actually have a lot of Native American um, genes. That's crazy. It is crazy. Now, what it may be is that um, you say your, your family is from the southern part of Mexico. Yeah. So that Native American is probably directly correlated to that southern part of Mexico. Oaxaca, Chiapas, you know, mm -hmm. Guatemala, all of that area is very, very indigenous um, American. Now, um, if you have other family that's from different parts of Mexico, that accounts for, you know, the Italian, the Iberian, and all of that stuff. Because what Mexico is, it's truly a blending of all different types of people. You know, there's, yeah. there's Spaniards, there's Italians, there's Germans, there's there's African descent, and you know, Mexico is like mestiza, it's that mixture of absolutely everything. You are 0.5% Middle Eastern. Whoa, I so, wasn't expecting that. So 0.2% um, North African, and then a little bit of Middle Eastern, and a little bit of a mixture of the two. So the majority of your Italian, so most likely you had a great, great, or great-grandparent or second-grandparent who was 100% Italian. Okay, well, I know that makes sense because my grand I consider her part of, like, the the half of my family that's mostly white, but okay. she's Italian. Okay. It wasn't her parents that were, that came from Italy, but her grandparents, like, came to Ellis Island, okay. so, like, I knew I was Italian, I just okay. didn't realize how okay. Italian I was. Well, then, yeah, they definitely were, were extremely Italian. I still can't believe I'm Jewish, though.